What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. You're watching another video of I Smoke Hip Hop. Let's get into it. Um, I don't really like saying sorry all the time to people. I'ma just be honest. So when I do this video, it's actually me being a, a real one. Cause I, for something about it, it just rubs me the wrong way, like cancer. Like I, I hate saying sorry to people, y'all. I'ma be honest. But at the same time, I never have a fear of saying it when it has to be done, man. Hey. Listen, son, God, I don't know you at all or anything like that. I did feel some type of way you got God in your name, but to, to each his own. Um, that was no excuse to come at you the way I did. To be real with you, bro, I feel like because you was beefing with other cats I aligned myself with or whatnot, that I kind of just came at you. For my own little thing, too, but but majority of it is because I, I was trying to be loyal to certain people in this shit, man. And... I feel like the attacks was unnecessary. It was uncharacteristic of me. And I'm pretty sure you're a cool dude at the end of the day. I meant some of the things I said, some of the jokes I did or whatnot. I ain't gonna take that away. Then I'll be fake. But other than that, like if you sitting back, you probably not giving a fuck. But I'm doing this video just so people can see, man, I, I ain't sitting home and I'm really beefing with these people in real life or anything like that. I only came at you because somebody said, well, I'm gonna just say Battle Truth said you was the, um, you was all these trolls, you know, the ones that was coming at me or whatnot. So I got in my feelings because I couldn't stand people with fake pages. I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I couldn't stand that. And I felt like me and you already, you know, had our um, truth treaty or whatever on, I think it was on DME Detroit's um, live. So I'm thinking everything was cool. And then it's like, damn, this nigga was behind that fake page because that fake page came at me multiple times, not the battle truth deleted files but they said that you also was the other ones i put in i don't know if i took that video down it's probably still there i forgot the name of that that shows you i don't pay attention to all this weirdo shit that goes on but like i ain't gonna lie i see the moves of this deleted files of battle truth or whatever so i know that ain't you bro like and i know and i seen the moves of them in fact me and one of the cats was actually um talking to each other um through the comment section so i know it ain't you bro like uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I see how crazy we can look on this when we trying to like go in attacks, attacks. So I apologize. I'm gonna just say like, if you think, oh, if I don't say nothing to this nigga, this nigga, got, nah, bro. You don't even have to respond. Just as long as you know, hey, a nigga ain't thinking about you like that. If anything, I watch your blogs, bro. I still think you can be more entertaining, but your blogs are way better than a lot of these other bloggers out there i'll keep it a stack because you talk about the main facts at the end of the day we watch these battle rap bloggers they hear the facts i know some people love the drama or well, a lot of people like the drama but me i'm the very few who still can click on people who i say you know i feel this and type of way about them but i look at all y'all shit i listen it's, it's entertaining and it's good for the culture and the fact that you never get out of your elements to attack people who attack you that shows responsibility i'm not just gonna say leadership and all that but me being a military man it does it does kind of look like damn role reversal i'm the niggas that i used to talk about when i'm in the military and you're showing the the discipline um the discipline and the um for intestinal fortitude just to be like you know what fuck it if somebody coming at me it is what it is and that day you came on my live and I let all these um, one united weirdo people, yeah, I'm gonna say it, these one united um, fans or fronts, whatever, battle truth, um, flunkies, these one united people with some weirdo people who, you know, I felt like I gotta, I gotta be part of the team, like loyal to people I rock with. So if Sun God is here and I had this little fake beef going on, which I don't wanna call it fake, but this little, um, this little thing, whatever you, I don't even know what the like bloggers were, whatever you call it, I was going on with y'all. I was like, this nigga in my, I'm sexing out. Wasn't he hating on me before? Um, you and Corey got bars. Cause I'm gonna be honest, that's where my thing stems from with you. It's the Corey's got bars situation. But even that, man, you and Corey seem like two cool cats. Even a cool nigga, like people say he's old and all, but he kind of get. <laughs> Hey, the Coon Gang, nigga. Hey, I, I'm gonna do a blog about you, bro. But no diss, bro. But even he's kind of rubbing off to me, like his blogs be having me dying, man. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm 33 years old. I don't lie about my age, so I'm not one of these niggas to make fun of older people in battle rap. I kind of think that's needed too, cause it's, you just see a young person perspective all the time could be boring at times. So the Coon Gang, nigga, is needed too. To be real, I think we need to call each other out. That's needed as well. I know y'all gonna say it's corny, but 
if we bloggers do something else, I'm one of these first ones who can tell you I deserve to be called out. It is what it is. That's I don't take videos down. A lot of niggas got videos of my name on it. You have yet to see me take that video down because I always keep it honest. I'm not doing that. As long as you ain't coming at my wife and my kids, I, I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm saying like call the middleman to come break shit up. Like it's not that serious. Uh, sticks and stones, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt I me. Mean, some people will never apply that to their life, and you see the weak feelings they got right now. But the sun god, you can call yourself what you want because at the end of the day, I don't take the scriptures like some people do to heart like that. Because at the end of the day, when I talk about the universe and the um subliminal message that are in my message, really hidden for those who are surpassed that conform wall that we get to because. People who say they're Christians and all this and that, I think you're another lost person who's stuck in religion. And when you're stuck in religion like that, it can't enable you to see past your own personal feelings or your own self. You can't get out your own feelings. And I'm not a man like that. Like, like people who watch my live get to see what I, I'm, I'm a chill, laid back dude. And people who knows my bad side get to see the bad side. But I think y'all never really seen the bad side or the chill side. You guys just seen the battle rap side. That ain't me, man. But the son, dude, he did his part in the culture. I've always noticed even when he writes a blogger name, he never take it to that extent that I know I take it to and other bloggers take it to. And I, I can see where it makes it look like I'm looking for views and shit like that. I got videos I put up that only got 100 views. Don't I still keep putting them up? Because I said that I'm changing. I don't care if they get less views. It's easy to do a blog about drama and then get your thousands or more or whatever, triple digits, um, quadruple digits. But when you do it about something you love, it doesn't matter how much views it gets. It's like, this is me. It's like Terry Rossi. It's me. It's me. It's, it's, that's the vibe I like, man. I like I like the cordial shit too, man. We don't we don't salute bloggers for being positive. So I guess I'm gonna start that now. And DM DM me Detroit. I got a blog kicking up for you too, bro. And it's no beef. Like I I be staring from afar and I be low key, man. I wish I ain't beef with this cat. I wish I ain't beef with that cat. Like I kind of jumped the gun trying to show my loyalties to somebody else, putting myself in somebody else's conflicts of interest that had nothing to do with me. Cause I know a lot of y'all used to watch my old blogs. I'm gonna keep it real. And y'all didn't even hate. Y'all threw love on it. And then I just went sideways. Y'all probably was looking like, this is some weirdo shit from this nigga. I'm far from a weirdo and I will get in my feelings if you call me that, but I will understand if you interject that in there. Cause it's like, that ain't becoming of a man to just, but at the same time, it is becoming of a man. Let me clarify it. When you loyal to somebody and you say you kick and you rock with that person, like, you supposed to be loyal all the way. I don't think you should be loyal where I did the beefs at y'all like that or Tony Bro or whatnot. But I feel like you should still like watch who you're like laughing it up with. Like I can't say I'm cool with Battle Truth and like and we we diss like that and then I'm laughing it up when dudes he don't like doing a joke about him. Things like that. That's all that was. I'm 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 from South Florida, man. In Florida, man, you got like like down South Florida, man. Where the loyalest niggas you can find, man. And it's to our damage. Like, if you don't think this video is authentic, man, I don't blame you. But I'm going to just be honest, man. My loyalty goes 100% towards people. Unfortunately, it doesn't go the same way around where their loyalties uh, transcends back. And I've been involved in a couple of situations like that in my life before. But every um, time you get in that type of situation, it's a lesson. People are going to say, well, it happened more than once. It's your f no, it's none of that. Your life is a story and it's your history. Like, his story so it's just a story your life is telling it's just chapters and like no pun intended but pages of people's lives and shit like that um i just feel like i'm not gonna be one of these corny bloggers i'm the first and i did that like the other day i said i was the first one to coin um sherlock holmes on rome dmv and and slim corion just came out of nowhere to say he was the first one and because he's so credible i believe him I'm not gonna argue about nothing. I don't care about who's first. I honestly thought I was the first because I did a blog with Rome and the damn um, Sherlock Holmes face on it. And it threw love on it to myself declaring he's Sherlock Holmes now. But as you, as I'm now noticing, because there's other people who vouched for what Slim said too, but Slim didn't have to say that. I've, I've been you Black Sheep News is credible. So if he says it, I take him on his word. That's the loyalties I'm talking about. I'm not on this funny nigga behavior shit. Nigga can't trust nobody. So he throw subliminal at the day ones, man. Niggas that's riding for you, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna do that no more. I'm, I will still call niggas out when it's needed. But at the same time, like, I'm not gonna be with the disrespects, man. Cause I, every, every blogger's needed. One, 
great thing I can say that happened in the battle rap. I know other niggas who want to be the first this and that. They, they're not going to like what I'm going to say. Because one great thing I love that happened in the battle rap that I've been preaching for years. I've been When we only had the top three bloggers in the culture. Because I don't call Queen Flips a blogger. He's bigger than blogging to me. He blew up. He's bigger than blogging. But when we had those top three, Chris and Bias, Angry Fan and Jay Black. I'm like, do you know how boring the culture was? I'm not throwing shots at Jay Black, Angry Fan, or none of them. I'm just stating facts. It was like, damn, like, when y'all watch the same TV shows every day, don't you want to change the channel? We need more bloggers. So I didn't want to be somebody who just kept talking about it. I did blogging, but then I was like, I just can't keep watching myself. What y'all don't know, when there was just Angry Fan and them blogging, I was like the fifth or six blogger that came in. I'm just keeping it fast. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm not trying to toot my horn about that. It was boring to me. Like the culture, like these niggas in the culture love, it's only me in here. Nobody else can come. Like, like you ever went to kindergarten, your first day of school in kindergarten, and they let you go on recess time and play with the, the toys, and you try to get the box of Legos, and there was always that kid who held the Legos, and y'all trying to grab the toys, and it was like, no, nah, these are my Legos. You can't have it. One of those type of niggas, like, I'm not going to be that in the culture. I literally wanted so many bloggers to be in the culture. I still think we don't have enough. I'm loving it. Hey, you new bloggers? Ooh. Hey, you new bloggers, hey, salute. You new bloggers been bringing out that fire, man. Um, To the dollar signs, and I don't know some of the name of these other ones. Low-key, I'll be watching dollar signs. I don't know some of y'all other names, but I'll watch y'all if y'all don't. I, I'll do another video to show y'all that. Well, I'm pretty sure y'all know already. Y'all see me in y'all comments. And it's like, y'all new bloggers is showing people why you shouldn't just get lazy in this shit. I've been lazy, man. I'll post one or two videos and I ain't on my shit like I used to because I kind of lost the love. I'll keep it real with you. I'm trying to work on other channels and shit. But I'm going to be real, man. Y'all new bloggers getting your boy back in this competitive nature, man. Like, I seen Sun God. You growing. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Like, I feel like I still pass you, Sun God, because this is my new channel that just got another 1,200. But you grew faster than what I thought. You're on your way to 3,000, so salute. Ain't no beef. Do I watch all of your blogs? No, I'm not going to be a liar. But I, do I watch the main ones talking about prominent things in battle rap? Yeah, I'm going to keep it a stack because you're, you're well informative. You're not afraid to say your facts. I do think at times you're a little too biased towards people you're cool with. But me being me, I was biased towards battle truth. I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be a liar about that no more. I was. I was like, if I'm rocking with this cat, I ain't gonna, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still didn't make no video about battle truth in this woman situation because I'm not. That's gonna be corny. Cause I used to rock with him, so it's like that would be corny if I just get on the video and do all that. But I will say. You niggas being y'all I didn't even see you come at Battle Truth. Battle Truth says your um the deleted files, but you didn't even do a video coming at him for his wife thing yet. Or whatever it was. They said, see, I don't pay attention to he say, she say. They said something about he hit some chick or whatever. I didn't see you do no video. I seen a hundred videos about it. I didn't really look, but you can see it on your timeline. I'm subscribed to a lot of people and a lot of things give you um YouTube give you recommendations and I'm like, damn, how many Battle True videos came yesterday and the day before, but you stayed out the way, bro. So I gotta salute you, man. DM me, uh, Detroit. He be, he be killing me with the blogs and shit. I don't know if y'all got beef or anything like that, but when I be seeing your um video, I like how y'all all incorporate each other. And ain't no animosity, bro. So from from far away, low key, that's the life I live here in real life. That's how we we vibe. So I can't really shit on a man and call him suspect and shit like that and i don't know nothing about this man's sexuality all because i'm cool with this dude now i'm gonna call other niggas gay because this dude think they're they're gay no nah, man that's rumor that's that's what females do i'm gonna keep it a fact i i ain't doing none of that shit no more when i call you tevin campbell ain't because no gay shit bro you literally look like tevin campbell bro if, if i was you i'll use that to my advantage i'm gonna just keep it a stack what i'll be trying to Snatch holes everywhere, bro. So ain't nobody gonna hate on you for that. You look like fucking Tevin Campbell, nigga. Ain't no, ain't no shades I'm throwing at here. Like shit, they say I look like Kayshawn. <laughs> Niggas been telling me I look like Kayshawn since 2000 and um, uh, 13. The only time I didn't want to be affiliated with Kayshawn was doing that whole um, tranny herpes shit that was going on. But other than that, like, I think I do look like Kayshawn now. Now I ain't in my feelings no more because I was like. Damn, I sure enough do look like this nigga. Like, I could just think about how K-Shine looked like and see it, man. Hey, keep it a stack, man. And we, I don't, I, I ran it on for too long, man. That's why I just wanted to vibe. I'm uncomfortable doing these shits, but it's me. You're uncomfortable because the, the truth is coming out you. So it is what it is.
man, fuck it, man. Like, you don't have to respond, none of that. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Just know from far away, I'm going to leave you alone from here on off. Just don't say anything about me, which I'm pretty sure you don't anyways. That's why I'm even saluting you. I'm, I'm, I said it before, but this is a, a fact and serious. All my kids, I'm leaving the sun god alone. He's not a threat. He's somebody I came at. I started the beef. He never said nothing subliminally at me, nothing like that. I tried to make a beef that was there that was never never really there, man. He probably is conscious because if you're going to be cocky enough to name yourself the sun god, you've been through something in life and you know some type of intellects of the most high and who the fuck am I to challenge you on that? So I apologize. And with that being said, love your family, love your kids.